Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. <clears throat> if you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to be talking about today is canning. And one of my close friends um, who I absolutely adore and she inspires me every single day has sent in some of her canning projects that she has worked on and is working on. And she wants to share them with you to inspire you to light a fire under your arse so you guys will get your canning going too. So these canning pictures that I'm going to be putting up for you right now um, are a way of dry canning by using brake bleeder, okay? And this is the way that she did for candy and it looks like baking morsels like chocolate chips and whatnot so look at these pictures it's just absolutely amazing what an inspiration thank you so so much i and then she put in a picture of her um of the material that she uses like the break the leader kit and stuff like that so here you go Okay, now these pictures, she said, um, these are meats as always as I get reduced out of the freezer until I get enough of what I'm canning, you know, time and pressure. Potatoes and sweet potatoes do uh, in season two, pressure can. You are able to dry can them too, meaning no liquids, pressure cooker. Really? Interesting. See, I didn't know that. So that's very interesting. Thank you. So these pictures are of her uh, making ghee. This is one thing that I have not tried to tackle yet. Uh, I wanna make ghee, but I have not tried it yet. Um, I'm still, I don't wanna say in my infancy when it comes to pressure canning because I've done everything, you know, from like uh, meats and veg, um, to making jams and jellies, apple, uh, you know, making my own juices, um, um, you know, my sauces, my ready-made meals and things like that. But I've never done ghee. So uh, she said, making ghee, I buy all butter on sale, $1.99 to $2.49 a pound, freeze till I get about 30 pounds, cook slowly down, let it come to a slow simmer, scum off all the bottom, uh, all the bubble on the top, but save it till uh, and still because it's still butter used for cooking omelet and fried potatoes, etc. Thank you very much. See, this is such an inspiration because I have never once made ghee, and I know a lot of my friends um, and community members have made ghee before. And I was actually sent a couple of uh, jars full of ghee um, by friends and stuff like that, and. I haven't opened them yet because those are in the do not touch <laughs> pantry, but this is, this is an inspiration. So thank you so, so much.
And here are some pictures. She said, hey, my beautiful sister, I love you. She said, here are pictures of my ready-made meals. She's got beef stew, uh, some pot roast, even praline walnuts. How did you do that? Oh my gosh. That's something I would love to learn. Bacon. Bacon. <laughs> Girl, I love it. Okay. Look at these just amazing pictures. I just, I can't, I can't stand it. I absolutely love it. Pork tenderloin. Okay. I've even gone as far as doing my own um, <laughs> general sales chicken because we love Chinese food in this house. Yes. So here are more pictures. She said, if there's anything specific you need or want, help me narrow down what you'd like. I use my canning books for recipes, which I tweak meats, veg, etc. Pinterest is my great, is a great resource. Yes, it is. Um, well, thank you. Uh, you know, I'll have to think. Wow. Look at all these. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it, this is uh, her mylar bag in it, which I have an, an I have a hope chest. It's over a hundred years old, and it is full. I mean, you literally have to sit on it just to latch it, uh, full of mylar baggins. Yeah, and it, it's just it's crazy. <laughs> so mylar, but oh, okay, you buy the same long grain rice that I, I do at Sam's Club. Yep. Okay, awesome sauce. So here are these pictures beautiful absolutely inspirations Okay, so these pictures, she said, dehydrating presentation, cantaloupe, strawberries to apples, green beans, garlic to zucchini, sweet potatoes and beets, mylar bag up, lasts for years. Amazing. Absolutely. Okay, in these pictures, she said, this food was all expired and to be thrown away. I've sent before, sending again, so we can show community members that it's all, a, it's all safe to eat 
and even prep in Mylar bags, another way I get my food supply up. All was given to me by my dear childhood friend who is a pastor. She has a food pantry, but anything expired, she cannot distribute to anyone. So I'm blessed for me and my family and many more people in need. I even took a ton of food several times to Ohio Ministry for Meals to feed them. Pictures from, from the past three years. God blessed. Food was not bad. Oh, talk about a blessing. Give all. Give my love. To your friend who's a pastor give my love to her please thank you Okay, so this, these pictures, she said, I love, love, love the video. She said, it's awesome to share and hope motivate uh, people to can dehydrate and prepare differently. I know I sent ghee pictures, but I had forgotten a few in season strawberries, all free wash and cut out the bad spots, dehydrated a bunch and made strawberry pie filling too. Oh, I put pictures in according to process, but for some reason they don't stay that way. <laughs> no. <laughs> You know, <laughs> oh my God, it was, it just, I was going to say something and it just went right out there. It's out in space somewhere, but you know what? We're, we're all, sup <laughs> I'll forget it. I can't even remember. None of us are in order anymore anyway. <laughs> so here's the pictures. <laughs> And here are the last of the pictures. She said, more inspiration. You are inspiration, my dear. You really, truly are. She said, I wish I lived closer so we could do canning creative parties. I would absolutely love that. She said, I also infused my local honey with my lemon verbena. I grew for hot teas and to take as a cough syrup, proc. P-R-A-C-H, salsa, when I'm given so much peace, peace, sometimes it just doesn't come out correctly. And I don't know if it just gets scrambled in my brain because I have mom brain or what? Peaches and tomatoes <laughs> and it turns into a salsa party. <laughs> okay, so use any peach salsa recipe. I tweak spices and sugar and use what tomatoes and peaches I have with onions and bell peppers and I make tomato jam. It's delicious. Tomato jam. Stop it. Give them. Okay. Here. Okay, guys, that's all for this video. Um, if you would like to send in your canning accomplishments or even just your prepping accomplishments, send in some pictures along with an explanation of what you're doing, please do so, okay? My email's in the description box below. Um, 
I love to do these kinds of videos um, because it helps to inspire people um, and it inspires me too. And, um, you know, I, I really think that this canning and dehydrating and mylar bagging it, it's one of the best ways to fill up your pantry quickly and in a timely manner and really on the cheap side. <laughs> um, also, whatever your prepping accomplishments are, whether you fixed your, your kitchen faucet or you know what I mean? Whatever it is, whatever it is, you know, it doesn't matter. Whatever you do in your journey, I want to know because we are a community. We are one of the best communities around. We are one of the closest communities and we're all friends here. We're all family and I want to share your story. Okay. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you in the next one. You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping. And as always, fearless. less.